Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox for Android tutorial video. And today I'm going to show you how to set up Game & Watch. So recently with the latest release of LaunchBox for Android, we do have Game & Watch support using the RetroArch core. And this is actually pretty simple to set up. But I figured I'd go ahead and do a quick video on it because there might be some people out there that are struggling getting this up and running. So obviously to follow along with this tutorial, you will need LaunchBox for Android installed. You could use the free version if you want to. We're also going to need RetroArch. Now, personally, I use RetroArch Plus right here. And finally, you'll obviously need some Game & Watch games. So I've got my games already installed on my internal storage. You could use external storage like an SD card if you want to. But if I head over to my files on my internal storage, I've got a folder called games inside of here, Game & Watch. And these are the games that we're going to be importing. So there's actually quite a few. There's some fun games in here. And these are all MGW format. So that's personally what I like to use. You can leave them zipped if you want to, or you can extract them like I have. So these are .mgw. So before we even start up LaunchBox, let's go ahead and download the core we're going to be using for Game & Watch in RetroArch. So we'll go ahead and start up RetroArch. And from the main menu, we're going to go to Online Updater, Core Downloader, and from here, we're going to scroll down and find the Handheld Electronic Core. That's the name it goes by in here. Handheld Electronic GW for Game & Watch. We're going to download this. We've now got the core installed. We can go ahead and exit RetroArch. Now, we're going to start up LaunchBox. So now that we've got our games and our core downloaded, it's time to import our Game & Watch games. From the top left-hand corner, Platforms, Import Games, Folder for Games to Import. Mine are on my internal storage, but like I mentioned, you can use external, like an SD card if you want to. Games, Nintendo Game & Watch. This is where I have all of my Game & Watch ROMs located. We're going to select this folder. If you take a look here, Platform for Imported Games, it automatically detected it as Nintendo Game & Watch because the folder was named correctly. But if you don't have the correct name, you can always choose it from the list here. Region to prioritize. I'm going to go with North America. Combine ROMs with matching titles into a single game. And so on and so on. Basically, with Game & Watch, we just need to choose the correct directory, the correct platform, and we'll proceed with the import. It's detected all of the games in that folder. We'll proceed. And our games are now imported. So with all of the new versions of LaunchBox, be it for Android or Windows, this will download in the background. We've got a new Game & Watch section. And as you can see, it's going to start populating all of the artwork. Now you can always force this artwork to download. Up in the top right hand corner, download all missing media. We've got a list of things we can check. We can also log into EMU Movies. I'm going to proceed with download. And it's going to go ahead and do it for us. But remember, it'll also download all of this artwork and information on the fly. We'll choose OK. Back to Game & Watch. And there we have it. So we've got our Game & Watch games imported. We've got a lot of stuff to choose from here. Now, uh, there are a couple things I'd like to show you when you start a game up. Let's go with something simple here. We'll do, um, let's do baseball. So we'll go ahead and play. First time launching a Game & Watch game through LaunchBox, you might get a window that looks like this. You'll need to configure an emulator. But we've already downloaded the core for RetroArch Plus. So at the top, default emulator, RetroArch Plus. Default core is the one we've downloaded. You can extract the ROM archives, so you can leave them zipped if you want to, but mine are all unzipped, so I do not need to leave this checked. And yeah, that's about it for this. We'll back up one time, and now we can go ahead and play the game. It's going to start it right up. And as you can see, we've got the handheld electronic on screen. Now we can change this by pressing select, but one of the main buttons you need to know with this emulator in RetroArch is the start button. 
Holding the start button will bring up your controller interface, so this will tell you everything you need to know about the game you're playing at the time. A lot of these games use different controller configurations, so this does come in handy. Press select, it'll just bring up the LCD for us, and this all transfers over to physical controls, but I'm using the on-screen touch controls right now. So for this game, pressing R1 will start the game up, and we can use the D-pad here to control our character on screen. Very simple games, but this is really awesome to have in your launch box collection. And hopefully, I can actually hit a couple of these balls here. But one cool thing I really like about this is when you press a physical button or your on-screen button, you can see that the button moves on the handheld itself, on the artwork, which is really awesome. But yeah, that's about it for setting up Game & Watch in LaunchBox for Android. It does work out really well, and this will run on low-end hardware, so you really don't need to worry about it. And the whole collection doesn't take up much space at all. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really hope you get Game & Watch up and running in Android using LaunchBox for Android. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.